Welcome to the assembly of Kingdom Ambassadors. You are ambassador of Christ. God trusts you. God trusts me to represent him on the earth. Could you please turn to the person seated closest to you and tell the person, welcome to the assembly of kingdom ambassadors. Government is upon your shoulders. Say that like you understand. Say to another person, welcome to the assembly of kingdom ambassadors. Government is on your shoulders. Say, government is on my shoulders. My message got changed this morning around it. And standing here and feeling what I'm feeling, I believe the Holy Spirit wants to set this house loose with that understanding to take over whole territories, whole families, whole nations. You are an ambassador of the kingdom. Media take us to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Let's read together. Say, so we are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God was making his appeal through us. We are Christ ambassadors as though Jesus was living and breathing through us and then speaking through us to our world and making his appeal through us. So we are imploring you on Christ's behalf. You are the ambassador that Christ is living in, breathing in, literally walking on earth through to reconcile men back to himself. When you say you are an ambassador of Christ, it's such a loaded statement. But we seem to be limited by our societal, our earthly understanding of the word ambassadors. I had to go to Webster's. Webster says an ambassador is an official employee, a diplomat, a diplomatic agent of the highest rank accredited to a foreign government as a resident representative of his or her own government for a special and often temporary diplomatic assignment. That's a very long thing. But that is where it ends. That is where our similarities we as kingdom ambassadors and the ambassador to the United States, the, the Nigerian ambassador to the United States, that is where it ends. Our limitation is that that is all we understand. We are we are a different kind of ambassadors. We are kingdom officials. God literally governs the earth through us. God governs your family through you. God governs this society through you. God governs your territory through you. God governs your street through you. God conducts the policy, the actions, the affairs of the nation state of heaven through us. If we stop by our understanding of, of earthly, of societal, of political ambassadors as just people, representatives sent to another kingdom to diplomatically advise that kingdom or that nation about the policies of Nigeria, we limit the powers we've been given here. We are not diplomats. Kaya, you did not hear that. When we engage the kingdom of darkness, we are not asking the devil to come to the table of negotiation. God uses us to control, to influence, to regulate people, to regulate actions, to regulate the course of events in this earthly sphere. Through you, God decides what takes place. I don't know whether you are hearing me. Through you, God decides who does what. How many of us have been operating in that realm? We are taking peanuts from the world because we've gone to take the definition of an ambassador from 
the world, which is our father's estate. Psalms 24 says, the earth is the Lord, the fullness thereof, the world, and all that dwells therein. So this is my father's estate, and I am the highest ruling authority in my father's house next to my father. I'm not here to take instructions from slaves. God regulates this earth, earthly sphere through you. God regulates the affairs of your family through you. If you don't understand that, you will keep being at the mercy of the enemy. You will keep taking things that God did not give you. And you will go back to God and tell him, see what I'm seeing. He did not give you. He had put all power. He says, all power has been given unto you. So you will trade, up, trade upon serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. And nothing, nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Why? You are a being of dominion. When you walk into certain places, the things there, because you are weightier, you displace things. We are a different kind of ambassadors. If you forget everything I've said here today, don't forget that one. We are here to take over whole nations. Which ambassador do you know that is sent to take over a nation? We operate by a different set of rules. We are ambassadors given authority in heaven and on earth and commissioned to go to take over whole nations, to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And that's not all. Teaching them to obey. Everything our king has commanded us. Which ambassador is sent to any nation to do that? You cannot take your definition of your ambassadorial duties from the United States ambassador to South, uh, Saudi Arabia. You are not here to negotiate with darkness. You are a different kind of ambassador. You are responsible for propagating the kingdom here on earth, beginning from your family. You are not here to negotiate with the devil. You are not here to ask demons, how far can you live now? You are not here to employ diplomacy with the kingdom of darkness. It doesn't exist. You are here on a divine mandate to take over. The psalmist says, when I stand, I am for peace. But when I speak, there are for war. You are here to take over whole nations. And so I was asked this morning, having prepared, I prepared something very different. To come and tell you that it's operation, take over time. It's time to go back and take over your family. It's time to go back and take over your streets. It's time to go back and take over your territories. It's time to advance the kingdom. Because here in this house, we have the divine mandate, the command to enforce. So your sole task as the ambassador of the kingdom on earth, wherever you are planted, is to take over this alien nation and occupy till your master comes. If you don't, this is Easter period. Christ would have come for nothing. And he didn't die for nothing. He didn't come for nothing. He came so an ordinary little girl. He came so an ordinary little choir girl can look things in the eye and say, get out. And that thing will scamper away and not show up. He came so an ordinary fisherman can turn and address an assembly of educated people. And 3,000 in one sermon was added to the church. It's time to take over whole nations in one day. Liba kaya bo zubra kaya. It's time to take over whole communities with one sermon. It's time for you to go home and take over your street. This week, that is your assignment. To go back and take over your street. The first assignment this week. Next week, we will stay on this for a long time. Because it's so loaded. Take over your street. Command those things that are on the eyes of those boys to let, let them go. Go and kneel down and don't negotiate. Don't beg. Make decrees. Because there is a Daniel 
dimension in you. You are the judge of God. When you judge, he stands. If you are going to go back home, if this sounds like this is you, if you are understanding, if there is fire burning in your bones, will you stand up with me? And let's proclaim the word of God together. Let's remind ourselves who we are. Because it's take over time. It's time to take over your family, your nation, your streets, your community. From, my mother calls it, Mfim Fimpo. From Mfim Fimpo. Halakaya Bozu Bradakaya. Say, I am an ambassador of Christ. No, no, no. Say, I am an ambassador of Christ. I am here to advance the kingdom of God. I am not subject to the influences of this world. Though I am in the world, I am not of the world. I will not be influenced by the systems of this world. I am a different kind of ambassador. I am Christ's official messenger in my community. I am an able minister of the New Testament. I am sponsored by the resources of heaven. I am not under any negative laws of this earth. I am an ambassador who represents Christ everywhere. I am God's trusted envoy on the earth. Through me, God executes his will and judgment in my sphere. I am a blessing to families and nations. God reaches the world through me. I am an ambassador of Christ. I am a chief official of the kingdom. Government is on my shoulders. I have divine power and authority to take over whole nations for my king. What I bind on earth is bound. What I loosen on earth is loosened. Every resource on earth and every army in heaven is put at my disposal. I am a different kind of an ambassador. I am here to reconcile men to God. This is my, my own talk. You can make it yours. I am peace. I am for, I am for peace. I am for peace. No, no. I am for peace. Put your name so you remember. I, Ian Patrick Grace Henry, am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. Are there things you want to wage war on and decide on their faith? Open your mouth and begin to speak. We take over time. It's take over time. Speak your family into the kingdom. Command your neighborhood into the kingdom. Let Kaya Bozu Brade Kaya.